Ellie here, and today we are going to be working on part four of my Lucia build blog. This is the final part in this series, so if you haven't caught the other three parts, make sure you click right up there and go check them out before you watch this video. Today we are going to be working on Lucia's wig. Lucia from Mermaid Melody has this super long, beautiful, and flowing golden hair that's pulled up into these two pigtails. She also has very 90s style anime bangs with huge curly front locks and some straight across bangs. Along with her hairstyle, she also has a few accessories like a chain with pearls that rests along her forehead as well as shells that go around her ponytails. Today we're going to be focusing on styling this wig and I can't wait to show you guys how it turns out. If you guys are ready, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so I'm going to be the first person to say that I am no pro at wig styling. I have had some training and a lot of practice, but I don't particularly always know what I'm doing. And that was kind of the case with Lucia's wig. I did a lot of trial and error, especially using tools like teasing and backcombing to make things have a bit more volume, and I messed around with it for a good two or three hours before I actually figured out what I wanted it to look like. So wig styling is not always super cut and dry and it's okay to mess up and take your time and practice. The only thing I suggest is to not actually cut anything until you have a style that you like because unfortunately wig hair does not grow back the way human hair does. And since I don't particularly remember exactly what steps I took to get Lucia's wig into the style that it is, I'm just going to give you guys some fun music and let you learn by watching. So enjoy and I'll see you at the end.
Once I had at least half of my wig styled the way I liked it, I went ahead and attached my ponytail extension. This is from Epic Cosplay Wigs. And with that attached, I was really able to see the entire style and I was very, very happy with it. So I went ahead and braided that tail to make sure it wouldn't get tangled and then put it in a hairnet so that way there wasn't as much weight hanging off the top of the wig and it didn't make it sag or pull it off of my wig head. So with our wig mostly styled, we can go ahead and add our accessories. I'm going to start with the hair clips that go around Lucia's pigtails. These are made from 3D printed shells and some painted wooden pearls. In order to keep them in place and to help them fit around my ponytails, I used some very thin metal wire and threaded it through my pearls and the loops at the ends of my shells. Then I was able to thread this around my ponytail and close off the ends by wrapping the two tails together and then pushing all the excess into one of the pearls so it was hidden and you couldn't see any excess wire hanging about. Lucia also has this strand of pearls that's hanging from her forehead. To create this, I used some clear jewelry wire and strung up all my pearls as well as my center forehead gem. And then I attached some bobby pins to each end. So I simply can lift up my high bangs and then pin this into place underneath. A little bit of hairspray. All that's left is to add a little bit of hairspray and we're pretty much done. One thing that I ended up adding at the last moment and don't have any video footage of is these tool tubes that go around Lucia's ponytails. These are simply long tubes of fabric that are pretty sheer and I put them there to protect the ponytails and keep them from getting super frizzy and caught in all my sparkles. And with that, Lucia's wig is ready to be put on! costume from Mermaid Melody Peachy Peachy Peach. I'm absolutely in love with this costume. It came out exactly how I wanted it to. It's super pink, super sparkly, and totally fit for a mermaid princess idol. So I am so glad we were able to finish it, and even gladder that I was able to participate in the Anime Bonze cosplay contest this year, and I happened to win Best in Show. So if you haven't checked out my skit from that, go ahead and click the link right up there. I think it's really, really fun personally. There's some acting and some singing and some dancing and it's a really good time. So make sure you watch that video. Please, 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 please. And thank you guys so much for sticking around. I know this build log was a lot to take in. There is a lot going on on Lucia's costume and so many little details that just took a lot of time. And it took a lot of time to make and explain and everything like that. But I think it was totally worth it, and I hope that this can help you make your own Mermaid Melody costume. No matter what princess or character you choose to be, hopefully I gave you a little bit of inspiration. Once again, guys, I want to thank you so, so, so much for watching these build logs. It really does mean a lot to me. If you do enjoy them, be sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment in the comments down below, and if you could, go ahead and subscribe, so that way you'll be seeing my future content and all of my next build logs. I love sparkly pink magical girls and idols, so if you liked building this costume, I'm sure you'll love to see my other videos too. All right, you guys, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, keep sewing, stay positive, and have fun. I will see you all next time. Bye! Would you like an encore?